Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to do something different. Today is September 22nd, 2021. So today is the official launch date of Pokemon Unite. Available both on the iOS and Android. Those of you who don't have a Switch, like myself, we've been waiting for today for a very long time. Almost two months since the launch of Pokemon Unite. And now we can finally join the rest of the guys on the Switch platform. Because this is a cross-platform game, we'll be able to join them in the fray by playing this on the Android or iOS mobile devices. But if you're also like me, and you don't enjoy playing these games on a mobile device, we can play this on the PC. And today I'm going to show you how you can install this game using an emulator and play the game on your PC. So on bignox.com you can download the official Nox player version and this installation is available by pressing this button on this website Nox player is one of the big three emulators for the android and basically allows you to play any game on the android on the android yeah so once you have finished downloading the installator, you can just launch the installation. So, for example, my Nox player has already been installed, but for those of you who are installing the first time, all you have to do is click the install button, go do his thing, and you're basically good to go. Uh, I just want to add one more thing, which is the Nox player does require you to have a Gmail account to sign into the Google Play Store. For those of you who have iOS, now's a good time to make yourself a Gmail account if you already don't have one. Now, once you're finished installing, there are a couple of things that you need to do. So, I first run my Knox Multi-Instance Manager, which is what I usually use to launch my Knox player. And what this does is it allows you to run multiple instances of the application. You can run multiple apps at the same time. It's like having, for me, three emulators all at once. So now that we're here, we have Knox Player 7.016 installed. However, you need, do need to install the game itself. So Pokemon Go, I keep saying Pokemon Go, but it's Pokemon Unite. Um, initially, it's not installed, so obviously you have to install it on your emulator. So, once the installation is complete, we're good to go. We're ready to play. So, as you can see here, Nox player has done an outstanding job of mapping all of the different keys that you need to play the game on the PC. For example, Nox player has a bunch of wonderful bunch of wonderful different functionalities. For example, it allows you to map your own custom keyboards and bindings. So, if you didn't like the defaults, you can set up uh, your own type of key bindings and make shortcuts is very, very good. So now I'm starting a game for the first time. Let's see what this is all about. All right, now we're going to create an account. What's happening here? Create an account.
Ay, 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 that's a large file to download. So more waiting before we can proceed. Unless... Welcome to Aeos Island. So let me fix the the keyboard bindings for now. So I don't want to see it. You can always hide the opacity. So if you save, you won't see all of the ugly user interface. So for now, we'll just skip that. But how do you... Hmm. I guess uh, there's no... There's no Asian version, eh? Alright, next. Here's my face. My face looks like... Sleepy? I'll go with the sleepy face. Here's my hairstyle. I don't like any of these. Where, where's the spiky version? Next. Alright, so while we wait for the game to load up, I'm just going to talk about why Nox Player is a good emulator. The Nox Player not only has key bindings, it also has other features like being able to record macros so you can automate a lot of repetitive tasks in your game. So for example, I play FF Record Keeper. There's a lot of things that you can write a macro for so thing, things that you normally do to grind every day you can probably automate that task but for a game like this I don't imagine there is any type of automation that can be done but for other games where you just brainlessly auto battle or uh, you know don't need to think about you can easily use Nox Player to automate it and basically grind uh, for free without spending any of your attention span without using any of your energy on your phone. Uh, so yeah, it's extremely, extremely powerful. Yeah, give it a shot. Give Nox Player a shot. You can play on the PC. Let's see how this goes. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.